Today we're gonna to be creating big, sexy bombshell hair. Now this look was actually inspired by an easy hair professional shoot. Celebrity hairstylist Peter Gray created some beautiful hair using Easy Lengths extensions. Now when you're working with extensions, it's not always about adding length. Easy Lengths are also really great for adding volume and thickness to hair, and they're just overall really versatile. You're gonna need a couple things before you get started. You're gonna need an inch and a quarter curling iron, a teasing brush, enough clips to set an entire head of hair, a rat tail comb for making your sections, boar's bristle brush for brushing through and creating some full thick curls, you'll need a working spray and a firm set hairspray. I'm gonna show you how to create the hairstyle today on my model, Brittany, and Brittany is wearing a basic length application of Easy Lengths, and we've also prepped her hair by using a volumizing foam and just giving her a really good blowout. So what I'm gonna do is leave her part just kind of off to the side here because the bangs are gonna do a really fun kind of dramatic flare. So I'm gonna start by setting this area in its own way. I'm gonna set it kind of going to the side and then I'm gonna set the rest of the hair in just a traditional pattern. And we're gonna be using a curling iron but treating it like a traditional set, but a traditional set would take 10 times longer. So we're gonna curl, pin, and then allow it to cool. So you always wanna take a section that's no bigger than the actual curling iron. And you'll start with just a little bit of working spray. We're gonna set this curl on base. So when you're working with precision setting like this, sometimes it's easier to just make the parts with your fingers as opposed to using the rat tail comb. Now once we've established a little bit of a side direction in the bang, I'm gonna go through and set the rest of the hair in just a traditional pattern. I'm gonna go back through the crown and back area and just along the sides. Now when you get to a point in the hair, when you're working with both natural hair and the Easy Lengths panels, don't worry so much about your sections being super duper clean. You don't have to get the whole Easy Lengths panel into one section. You can break up that extension into two separate sections. Once you've got the entire head set and pinned, you're gonna allow it to completely cool down before we remove these and finish out the style. And once you've let the hair completely cool, we're gonna remove the clips and finish the style. We're gonna go in with our teasing brush and our firm hairspray, and we're gonna create a giant base of just teasing. Now this is gonna help remove any lines that the rows or sections might have left, and it's also gonna take the extensions and really blend it in with your own hair. Now when you're creating the tease, you don't need to tease all the way through to the very end of the hair. It's really about creating a nice cushion or a base that's about an inch to two inches thick. Now when you're doing a style that's this in depth, because we're really getting in there, and we're really teasing and putting some pressure both on her hair and on the extensions, you wanna make sure that you've had your extensions in for just a little bit of time. You wanna give them enough time to actually cure, harden, and become one with the hair before you go in and do this kind of rigorous styling. Once you've got a nice big base with the pre-teasing and back combing, we're just gonna go through with our boar's bristle brush and we're gonna brush out these curls to make them nice and soft and give it that big, open, full effect. Be careful to not brush through your teasing because we don't wanna remove any of the volume that we've created. We're just gonna smooth over it to just really camouflage it so it'll be real gentle over the part that's teased and then we'll brush through those curls. Right along the face, we really wanna give the illusion that the hair is almost being swept away. So you're gonna just encourage some movement in this direction, just with your fingers and with the brush, and give it that nice lift up and away from the face. Now when we finish out the bang area, we really wanna give it almost a sweeping motion. This is where a lot of the interest in this hairstyle lies, and it gives it that nice kind of polished effect. And anywhere you need a little extra volume, you can either get in there with the edge of comb and just lift it right up, or you can go in and add a little bit more teasing. 
So once you're finished with the back combing and the smoothing, you can just encourage the hair in whatever direction you want it to flow in for some nice, beautiful, fluid kind of movement. And then spray, spray, spray with a Stronghold hairspray. You really want to lock in those curls and make sure that this beautiful bombshell look is one that's going to last.